Hello there, YouTube. It's Saint, and we are continuing our little series of playing with some of my older builds and just checking to make sure that everything about them is uh, where it needs to be after however long it's been since I made the build. Obviously, I've learned a little bit, uh, especially these early builds. Um, you know, the the first builds that I made, uh, there was some stuff that. Obviously, I tried them out. I, you know, wanted to see what I could do with them. Um, but there were things that I probably didn't know when I made those builds that I do know now. So I'm just going back, revisiting these builds, making sure they are uh, as efficient as they can be. They're not necessarily efficient builds, but make sure they are as efficient as they can be. Uh, this has this one right here. This build, the madness. Uh, what was it? Like order and chaos. Uh, just this is the most fun one this was going back and revisiting this build was um, <laughs> the one where I was like oh yeah this build was great um, I love this build this build is fantastic and this one is like pretty efficient right off the bat uh, it's just faith and vigor for the most part and we're using um, the coated sword and the uh, uh, cipher uh, as well as the Golden Order Greatsword and uh, all, all the Frenzy spells, obviously. And this invasion right here, uh, I've, I've cut it out. I didn't save all of it. I, I fought this guy and his phantom forever. Forever. And uh, when I finally got the guy alone by himself, I was so hurt uh, and out of flasks already. Um, just managed to, you know, he was passive enough that I could get away, run off, warming stone, frenzy warming stone, um, and, you know, whatever else, uh, taker's cameo, stuff like that to get my health back, uh, come back and fight. But that last little invasion, or I'm sorry, that last little bit of the fight, you know, we used so much stuff from the build, it was just a really good sort of showcase for... Uh, you know, all the things that this build does. Like, first off, you got the greatsword, which is nice. You got the hyper armor. Pretty decent damage. It's got a good Ash of War. Uh, we've got Flame of Frenzy. That is, like, just a fantastic roll catch uh, move. Um, it's really good at, you know, punishing people who try and, like, stay at that mid range. Uh, establish order is awesome, just period. It's really good at close range, and it's really good long range. So, like, in that sort of situation where there's one guy right in front of you and one guy behind you off, or not behind you, but one guy standing off, uh, you know, far away, that's, um, you know, a, a fantastic Azure War to have because it takes care of both of those areas. Um, and then we've got the uh, Unendurable Frenzy on here, um, uh, Inescapable Frenzy, um, we've got the... Uh, Howl of Shabriri, um, all that stuff. Our wondrous physic, I believe, is fire damage up. Uh, no, actually, it's not. It's uh, sacred damage up because all of our weapons do sacred damage. So we've got sacred damage on the weapons and then fire damage from the spells. But our wondrous physic is for sacred damage because you know uh, it's easier to hit people with weapons. Well, I don't know that it's easier, but that's what I prefer to do, um, is swing weapons at people. Unfortunately, it's not that big of a deal, but the Coded Sword and the Cypherpata both do exclusively sacred damage. Unfortunately, the Great Sword uh, has a little bit of physical damage on it as well, um, but I imagine it would probably be a little too good. If it was just doing pure sacred damage and it was like great sword tier damage but we've got the, a king in yellow sort of thing going on with this build the other thing in our wondrous physic <laughs> of course is the infinite poise flask so that we've got like 10 seconds of infinite poise so that we can grab people with inescapable frenzy um, and then, yeah, Unendurable Frenzy, if you've got the infinite FP flask, uh, is fantastic. Uh, but it, it will eat away at your FP pretty quickly. 
so that's something to consider about unendurable frenzy. Uh, the Flame of Frenzy, just a much more um, FP efficient uh, spell than uh, Unendurable Frenzy. But Unendurable Frenzy definitely has a place, it definitely has a use. Um, a lot of times when I'm streaming, uh, I'll get stream sniped by these types of people who just stand in like a very small cave. Um, and then they just, you know, try and uh, kill you as soon as you spawn in. And if you're me, and you're on my typical type of build, most of them won't have something that is capable of killing that type of uh, gank that's set up. Um, especially, you know, if they've uh, prioritized health and defense. Uh, it, it's hard for one of my builds to kill them, like, during spawn immunity. But uh, if you have a build that has unendurable frenzy, on it, and you go infinite FP, uh, infinite poise, whatever, um, you can just unendurable frenzy those types of people to death, as Adam Barker showcased with his mech suit build. So my point is, unendurable frenzy definitely has, like, uh, there's a case to be made for it being a good spell. It's just, um, not, it's just usually not the, the most efficient spell to use. Um, but, yeah, still, definitely, I'm gonna have it. There's only so many Frenzy builds on, you know, I'm sorry, there's only so many Frenzy spells in this game. Frenzied Burst, also, a really good one. But, uh, yeah, I, this build is, is great. I love it. Um, and I had forgotten how much I loved it. <laughs> it, uh, it rules. It, it's a lot of fun procking frenzy, procking madness, and not relying on vikes to do it. Um, I typically don't have anything against, uh, you know, somebody using vikes. It, if it's, like, you know, if someone's dual-wielding vikes, it's obviously like, a, okay, you, you... There's... You're doing it on purpose at that point, right? But if someone is, you know, the, the frenzy build-up, despite the fact that you dodge the attacks. But if somebody's just got like a single Vikes, you know, like, there's only that one weapon in the game. Um, and I kind of wish there were more, and I'm kind of glad there's not more Frenzy build-up weapons uh, for that exact reason, you know. Um, it's just such a... It's such an annoying status effect when it's on a weapon like that. Um, but I... That's why I don't use it. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with people using it, but I'm, I don't. Um, I, mine is unupgraded. I have it on this build. And uh, if someone were just annoying the, the ever-loving piss out of me, um, I might equip it and use it unupgraded. <laughs> just, to, just to be a jerk. But other than that, I just use the sacred weapons. Um, I don't think we made any changes to the stats on this build uh, upon the the review here. Um, everything was pretty good. It's a pretty efficient little build. It's just, you know, mostly faith and vigor with a little bit of mind and a little bit of uh, strength for the greatsword. Um, or, or maybe it's... maybe may, I think maybe this needs a little strength and dex, actually, now that I think about it. Um, and I started Confessor, which was, like, a terrible decision, uh, but the reason I did it was, like, I wanted it to be, like, as a, as a starting class, Confessor is a really good, like, lore pick, um, you know, the idea of, uh, some sort of, like, church interrogator discovering the Flame of Frenzy and becoming just an absolute, uh, crazy person about it. Way too, way too good uh, to not, you know, so I, I chose Confessor, but you definitely probably want to choose Prophet or Vagabond uh, if you were making a build similar to this. Um, but yeah, mine, mine used Confessor, so it could be a little bit more efficient, but eh, it's, it's whatever at this point. But these invasions have all been uh, great. I just cannot get over how much fun this build was um, and it's much better than I remembered it being as well uh, 
I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little sad it's taken me this long to go back to, to trying this build. But, you know, that was the whole point of doing what I was doing in, in this little series of reviewing um, some of the some of the older builds. Flame of Frenzy is such a good roll catch. Like, it's so good at it's so good at that. Um, it's, it's just a great spell. Uh, this I I every like Souls game, I, I always had a character uh, who's who was who was named Chaos Servant. And the Chaos Servant in Dark Souls is like a pyromancy thing. Um, in this game, it's still fire, and it is still like, you know, like a faith thing. But, uh, it's, it's a little different, but I'm not, you know, like, it's, it's just too good <laughs> that what used to be Chaos uh, has been replaced with a, a different type of Chaos. And, you know, the fact that I'm always making characters who are like these crazy Moonlight Greatsword wielding lunatics, and the fact that there is a version of the Moonlight Greatsword in Elden Ring that is, uh, you know, perfect for this build, the Faith version of it, um, just really makes it... Like, I could not have... If I had gone to From Software and been like, hey, I always like to make a build that's like this, can you do something? So that when I make that build in this game, I, I couldn't have imagined something working out as well as, as this. Uh, I think um, we added... That was a nice backstab. I think that we added the Godfrey icon to this, uh, if I'm not mistaken. We we use the charge on, the, on so many of those spells. Like, we charge the spells up and the Godfrey icon... Uh, it just sort of seemed like a no-brainer. I don't think I had it on originally. I think that that was something that we added, uh, or at least played around with. Um, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know if I left it on or not, but I know it is something that I've messed around with. Um, I would imagine we kept it on. I'll show off the stats and the talismans at the end of the video, so, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um... But the talismans on this thing, like, since the stats are so, like, efficient anyway, it's not really necessary to, you know, we don't need, like, a, a sore seal or a scar seal or anything like that. Um, probably, like, two fingers icon. And I think we're using, uh, this I do know for sure we added. Um, I respect, and I got rid of some of the decks that I had leveled up, and I replaced it with Millicent's Prosthesis for... Uh, the five decks, and you get, you know, uh, a buff if you get some multi-hits, right? There you go. So I know that we changed that. I know that we added that up. Um, and that buff stacks with the Howl of Shabriri self buff. Um, but that also does tank your absorptions, so that's something that you have to take into consideration with this as well. But Howl, Howl of Shabriri is too cool to not use, you know? Um, so definitely gonna have that. If you wanted to, you could throw the Black Dumpling hat on to further buff uh, the Howl of Shabriri. But, um, yeah, Two Fingers, Talisman for the Faith, uh, Millicent's Prosthesis for the Dex, and the Multi-Hit buff. And, like, that's pretty much it. Yeah, Godfrey's Icon. And we're rocking, you know, we're like, you got a king in yellow type of thing going on. So we're using the... Um, the trick mirror so that we don't look like an invader we want to look you know gold i considered using the other trick mirror to be gold but uh i, I decided not to do that and instead go this route and uh yeah satisfied with that anyway this has been the one that I, you know oh yeah this build was really fun i can't believe it took me this long to go back and try it again uh, next time we'll go over another build and i'll see you then till then later y'all